Hello friends, trust my previous video have cleared your doubts concerning the TACO system angle encoder alignment job. If at all you have missed to watch it, I would propose to go through the video as the TACO signal function test is only conducted after the angle encoders are adjusted. The link for same is on your screen. In order to achieve the correct engine timing, it is very important to communicate an accurate position of the crankshaft to the engine control systems and same is being done by the angle encoders. As mentioned earlier, later performing the angle encoder alignment job, you need to conduct the MOP TACO signal function test. In this video, I'll discuss the step by step procedures for same. So guys, let's get started. The purpose of the TACO signal function test is that the MOP program can analyze the TACO system and verify the angles communicated by the TACO pickups and angle encoders. Prior proceeding with the test, always position the crank throw of cylinder number 1 to the top dead center. Friends, please do confirm the TDC position with the pin gauge provided as a special tool. I have already uploaded a video detailing the steps to check the cylinder number 1 position at TDC on MA engines. Do watch the video for better understanding. The 0 degrees reading by both the encoders A and B on the MOP indicate the crankshaft is also at 0 degree with cylinder number 1 at TDC. To proceed with the test of the TACO signals, press the start and just follow the instructions on the screen. Make sure an assistant is standing by to activate the turning gear and verify the crankshaft position. As per the first instruction, you can see you need to turn the engine crankshaft to 2 degrees before TDC at cylinder number 1. Upon turning the crank to the prescribed angle, the yellow background of the test value changes from yellow to blue. This indicates the values are correct. Then press done and then proceed to the second instruction that is to reboot the CCUs and ECUs. Carefully follow the instructions as per the tips displayed at the bottom of the screen. Once the rebooting of the MPCs are done, turn the crank 2 degrees in ahead direction after TDC at cylinder number 1. Upon achieving this crankshaft position as mentioned earlier, the test value changes from yellow to blue background. Then press done. Proceed to the next step that is to turn the crank 47 degrees after TDC at cylinder number 1. You can confirm the crankshaft position on another MOP. Continue the steps to 92 degrees and 137 degrees after TDC of cylinder 1 in ahead direction. Once all steps are completed with all the test value status OK, you need to validate the functioning of the TACO signal amplifiers. For this, start turning the engine from 2 degrees before TDC. At exactly 0 degrees, the LED on TACO signal amplifier A box must be on. Continue to turn the engine in ahead direction. At exactly 45 degrees, the LED on TACO signal amplifier B box must be on. Upon further rotation, at exactly 180 degrees, the LED on TSA box must go off and at 225 degrees, the LED on TSA B box must go off. This steps ensures that all the TACO system encoders and pickup sensors are performing accurately. Now you can reset all the active alarms related to the TACO system on the MOP. Upon completion of all the above mentioned tests, always do try out the main engines in ahead and ascent directions from the engine control console as well as from the bridge console. This confirms the timings for the firing order as well as the execution of control signals from the MPCs of the ECU and CCUs are functioning correctly. 
Friends, your engines are now ready to rock and roll into the deep blue seas. In my upcoming video, I'll describe you further about the procedures for setting of the fine adjustment parameters and calculating the delta taco B values. You just need to stay tuned with my channel by subscribing it now and sharing the link among your colleagues as knowledge is always meant to be shared. Thank you for watching the video. Wish you all safe seas and healthy stay on board. Thank you.